Hey food fans, welcome back to Then We Eat. You'll notice a new location now. We've been blessed with an absolutely beautiful midsummer week of weather. It's been 26 Celsius and sunny, so we took the opportunity, and this week we're gonna be doing smoked brisket. So you have to exclude the shades, but it's really bright out here, so, uh, and you don't really need to see my eyes anyway. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make up the spice rub. Um, we've got a bunch of different ingredients here. I'll try to nail them all correctly. If it's wrong, don't worry about it. We always put the recipes down in the description, so uh, when we mess up, you got the right information. So here we go. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add uh, about three tablespoons of brown sugar. Maybe. And a tablespoon of smoked paprika. A teaspoon of chipotle chili powder. A teaspoon of onion powder. A teaspoon of cumin. And finally, a teaspoon of onion powder. Oh, and uh, one tablespoon of salt. I just about forgot it. And we'll just give that a big stir up. If I was doing this in the house, I'd use my hands, but I have no way to wash them right, right now, so the spoon it is, it's a little more difficult to do. All right, so once you got it all broken down and uh, everything's mixed in, sometimes the brown sugar will be a little chunky, so you may have to break it down a little bit more. And once you're done, you should have something that looks about like that. All right, so we, uh, we had picked up these, this, uh, it was a full brisket sometime in the winter time. They were a cryovac and we broke it down into the uh, two pieces. We roasted one in the winter time. It was absolutely delicious. So we figured we've only got a couple of people around this weekend. This is only two pounds, so it'll work out perfectly. Um, so this one, we're definitely gonna smoke. We're just gonna cover the whole thing in a little bit of mustard, just regular yellow mustard, and it'll help the, uh, it'll help the spice mix stick to the, to the meat. So you don't want a ton, you just want enough to, uh, to, to cover all sides of the meat. Once you're done that, then just take the spice mix, sprinkle it over top, give it a nice even coat, sides, top, bottom, everything. All right, we've got it good and full of, uh, of spice now, so I'm just gonna take two seconds, go in, wash my hands, and I'll be right back. All right, we're all cleaned up, we're back, we're ready to go again. Although, while I was in washing my hands, it all of a sudden occurred to me, I forgot to add the pepper. What's new? So, I'm gonna take the pepper and I'm just gonna grind it over the whole piece. It's not gonna make any difference. All right, so you wouldn't have that step if you had added it into the original mixture. Once it's all done, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wrap it in, um, in plastic wrap. I, I normally wrap it pretty tight and we'll put it in the fridge overnight and then tomorrow we'll come back and uh, we'll smoke it. So in the meantime, let's get it wrapped up and get it in the fridge. So once you're sure it's good and sealed, make sure there's no leaks anywhere. Just get it nice and wrapped up. I didn't do a great job, but it'll be all right. And we'll now just get our chips ready for tomorrow. This will sit in the fridge overnight. So we'll be up pretty early tomorrow morning to get it on the smoker. As far as chips go, they're pretty straightforward. We happen to own a wood shop, so we make a lot of our own wood chips, but you can buy them at virtually any hardware store and there's a wide variety available. Uh, we're using mesquite today. Uh, we can't get mesquite here, so it wouldn't come out of our wood shop, so, so we do buy the mesquite. Um, so all we're gonna do, we've got a bowl that we use for our wood chips. We're gonna dump them in, and then just use clear, fresh water, cover them up. And 
And if you find they're floating a little bit too much, what you can do is just put a plate on top of it and it'll keep the chips under the water if, if for the ones on top. It's normally not a big deal, but it's something that we do on occasion. So that's it for the chip, same thing. You can leave these anywhere from two hours to overnight. We generally do them at the same time as we do the spice rub. Then we know that everything's ready to go for the morning. All right, I think we're ready. We'll get the brisket into the fridge and we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Well, good morning and welcome back to Then We Eat. It's a beautiful day here again out here in the country and we're ready to smoke our brisket. We've had the brisket in the spice rub overnight. We've got the chips had been soaking overnight, so we're about ready to go. We've took out the uh, brisket about an hour ago just to get it down to room temperature. So here we're ready to put it on the smoker. We've heated the smoker to 250 degrees. We've added some mesquite chips and now we're ready to put on the brisket. So once you've had the, the brisket on the barbecue, we make up a, a spray solution that we hit about every uh, half hour to an hour, it, sometimes longer, sometimes shorter, it just depends. We do it about every second time that we add, add chips to the smoker. Um, it's just a combination, exactly 50-50 of apple juice and apple cider vinegar. It gives it a really nice flavor as you do it over the day and it gives it a nice crust. So as far as the, uh, the smoker itself goes, all we do is we use just straight charcoal and we put the chips on just in a handful. You can also do it where you put it in tin foil and just poke little holes. And the other thing you can do is you can actually get boxes where you can use pellets, um, which we showed you in our uh, smoked cheese video. So there's a multitude of different ways to do it. This is the way that we've been doing it for umpteen years. So, you know, take it one way or not. So past that, we're going to leave it in the smoker. We'll come back in a couple hours, show you how it's doing and uh, we'll take it from there. So everybody have a good morning and we'll see you in a few hours. Well, good late afternoon. So we're back again. Our brisket's been on for about, uh, well, according to this, we've been on just a little over five hours and that was for about a two pound brisket. Um, we've hit a internal temperature according to our thermometer of 160 degrees. So now we're gonna wrap it up uh, and bring it up to a temperature of 205 at what point it'll be ready to rest. So what we're gonna do first is get rid of my phone. We're just gonna give it one more spritz before we start to wrap it. So we'll just give it a quick spritz. All right, so all we're gonna do, we'll just take some aluminum foil. Easy, easy, easy. Maybe it can come out. Now it's a little tricky because I want to get the thermometer through the, uh, through the tin foil without moving the thermometer. So I'm gonna rip it a bit there. We'll patch her up a little bit here in a minute. All right, and then just before you close it up, we're gonna just put in about maybe approximately two tablespoons of apple juice. Not a lot, just enough to, to let it steam a bit. And if you kind of close it up first, then it gives you a bit of a pot to hold the, uh, the apple juice in. And then once again, we'll just seal it right up. And there you have it. So we're going to leave that. We'll put that on now, as I say, till about 2.05, which is going to be several hours. Generally what happens with brisket is when you hit about 160, it will, it will pause and, and it will take a long time to get it past 160. So, so don't take it off, leave it. It will start to increase again and you want it to be about 2.05 for like a pull apart type brisket. So let's leave it and we'll see you when it's finished. Well, good evening and welcome back to Then We Eat. It's been another three and a half hours or so that we've done the uh, brisket in the tin foil and we should be ready to go. Um, I guess it's gonna be a surprise for us as it is for you. We haven't checked it or anything, so uh, let's open it up and we'll all get to see what it looks like. 
The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove our, uh, our probe, hopefully. It's a little warm, um, so we'll just get that out of the road, and let's get a good peek at this. Beautiful. So, let's give it a slice, see what it looks like inside. Nice and juicy. Beautiful. There's a beautiful line of smoke ring around the whole outside. I don't think you're going to be able to see it because of all of the juice. Let's see if I can spin it around here for you. So you can see the, the line of smoke all around the outside, which is just perfect for us. We don't like to over smoke the meat very much. Um, we just like that nice smoky flavor. So let's, uh, let's give it a taste. We'll just get a little of the drippings in there. Mmm, it's so tender. You pick up a bit, bit of the taste of the cumin. It's quite spicy. So if you're not into heavy duty spice, I would recommend cutting back on the chipotle powder just a bit. It's perfect for us, but it is spicy. All right, well, thank you for watching. And if you haven't liked this video already, please like the video. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when we're putting out new videos. We try to put out a new video every week. So let's give this just one more taste because it's just too good to leave. And remember, first we cook, then we eat. Mmm, so good.